Should you buy Far Cry 5 in 2021? Far Cry 5 set out to reinvent the franchise through a change in the overall game design, but is Far Cry 5 really worth your time in 2021? Stick around to find out. Far Cry 5 released on the 27th of March 2018 and was set up to be the fuse that lights the franchise back into the explosive realm of AAA competition. It's fair to say the previous entries after Far Cry 3 were lacklustre compared to the critical and financial success of Far Cry 3, so why shouldn't you spend your time playing Far Cry 3 rather than Far Cry 5? We'll be talking about narrative and gameplay. Welcome to Classic Game Reviews where we go back in time and take a look at the games of the past and today's game is Far Cry 5. Far Cry 5's narrative was surprisingly quite entertaining. The narrative does what it's supposed to do, put you in countless situations that's fun for gameplay but strong in terms of narrative, however it really falls flat in a variety of moments. Far Cry 5's main villain is Joseph Seed, a radical religious man whose charisma and power convinces people to follow him to their deaths. <laughs> While I really dislike the cliché of an overly religious fanatic, I think it really suits what Far Cry 5 is going for, but the whole narrative relies on his big plan and it makes absolutely no sense. No one is coming to save you. One guy manages to shut down an entire county and it's really hard to immerse yourself in a situation like that because of how ridiculous it is. So if you have trouble with dumb plots, especially with a plot point so integral to the game's narrative, then this game isn't for you. However, it's not all bad. The narrative, despite how ridiculous it is, suits Far Cry 5 so well. You have multiple characters, all with unique traits that you have to take down, each with their own unique missions and cinematic moments, but I'll, I'll get to that during the gameplay section. Each character has their own little backstory with unique abilities, especially Faith, who uses substances to basically make you insane, and let's just say it was trippy. You play as a guy called Ruck Rocky. Yes, Rocky. Did I mention the lack of creativity in the narrative? Most of the narrative is forced to the side as you do a load of repetitive quests to get to the parts that actually matter narrative-wise. However, through those missions you meet a variety of characters, all over the top once again, but provide some great comedic relief to hopefully stop you from realising you've done the same task over and over again for the past two hours or more. Those cinematic moments is what you want from Far Cry 5 in terms of narrative, and most of the time they are absolutely superb. They nail the atmosphere and stakes most of the time and really give you that drive to take all of them down. So it saddens me to say, but the payoff at the end of the game really is not worth the amount of time you invest into Far Cry 5 due to the mission structure. She the narrative is so focused on blowing you away through terrific voice acting and visuals that it forgets the importance of basic writing and personally for me everything just fell into place and nothing felt natural but that's just my personal opinion. It definitely depends entirely on your personal taste but for me 20 plus hours of my time for a lackluster ending really didn't sit with me well. Unfortunately, there really isn't much else to say about the narrative. It's very bare bones, but has some incredible voice acting at times, but it was extremely hard to take seriously, but maybe that was the point. Everything in terms of narrative was so over the top, a crazy religious man leading people to jump into helicopters for him, taking over a county and apparently being able to cut out all communications to the outside world. So yes, the narrative is very basic, but if you go into the game knowing it's ridiculous and find a way to roleplay, you can have a hell of a time with Far Cry 5's narrative. So, should you buy Far Cry 5 in 2021 for its narrative? Absolutely not, but let's see if we can change that in the gameplay section. I'll only put this in once because, let's be honest, everyone hates these, but if you do enjoy these videos, remember to smash that like button and maybe even stick around by subscribing. I appreciate all the support you've given me, and thank you for 80 subscribers. We got to that, that milestone so quick, so thank you. Far Cry 5 has a lot going for it in terms of gameplay. There is a variety of quests and things to do in the open world, which is great. However, it does suffer from the classic Ubisoft game design, but in its own unique way. I mentioned at the start of the video that Far Cry 5 set out to reinvent the franchise through a change in the overall game design, and technically they did that, but not in the way that provides new or creative things to do. What Ubisoft did was make the usual Ubisoft side quests mandatory to progress through the story. For example, if you remember in Far Cry 3 you had like 30 different enemy camps that you could choose to do to earn new rewards like weapons, which was great but a bit repetitive. Now imagine being forced to do those bases to progress the overall narrative. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun, but did Ubisoft pull it off? Well, first off, the gameplay flows a lot better than it did in previous entries. One minute you're saving prisoners in a van that drove past you, and then you're smack bang right in the middle of one of those bases I mentioned. So the gameplay is a lot more fluid compared to the previous entries. Gone are the days of pulling up a map every two minutes to find out where you're going. It all kind of just flows. 
Ubisoft removed those towers you had to climb in every entry, and I think that is an improvement in an overall game design perspective, especially since that really belongs in a different franchise called Assassin's Creed, but even Assassin's Creed has kind of ditched that at this point. Gunplay is extremely satisfying, and there is a load of guns you can unlock, each feeling very unique. However, the menus to access those weapons are surrounded by incentives to buy microtransactions, and I hate microtransactions. So, Far Cry 5 is essentially Far Cry 3, but almost 10 hours longer depending on how many mini side quests you do, stuff like collecting, I don't know, letters, stuff like that. I personally didn't do them because I just I didn't have the time. The skill tree in Far Cry 5 is also very lacklustre. There's lots in the skill trees, but most of the skills are completely useless in most situations. So you really can just play through the entire game without upgrading anything, which kind of makes the whole system pointless. That brings me onto the AI. Ubisoft is notorious for bad AI, and I can usually ignore it, but Far Cry 5 has awful AI. Far Cry 3 had similar issues, but Far Cry 3 is a lot shorter, so it was less noticeable. Far Cry 5 is way too easy, in my opinion, which means upgrading weapons, skills, etc. are not practical. They are just time wasters. I hope Far Cry 6 spends less time on visuals and more on its artificial intelligence, because that's what makes a game fun. The set pieces I mentioned in the narrative section are the highlight. They easily provide the most memorable moments in Far Cry 5, and is a hell of a lot of fun due to the fact it gives you a break from the tedious side quests you've spent the last five hours doing. Are they worth those five hours? Unfortunately, I don't think so. So, should you buy Far Cry 5 in 2021? The fact a game like Far Cry 3 is available at a much cheaper price and provides a better experience in terms of narrative and gameplay, I just can't justify buying Far Cry 5. If you want more refined mechanics, but more repetitive gameplay, Far Cry 5 may suit your needs, but for me personally, Far Cry 3 is a much better option, but that depends on if you've already played Far Cry 3 before, you may want a new experience. Far Cry 5, in my opinion, is unfortunately not a classic, and I can only hope that Far Cry 6 improves in its gameplay structure. I know that may irritate you, but that is my own personal opinion. Thank you for watching.